British Prime Minister Keir Starmer on Sunday condemned the violent anti-immigration riots that have gripped the UK. After violent disorder swept across several cities fueled by misinformation about the murder of three young girls last week. I utterly condemn the far-right thuggery we've seen this weekend. Be in no doubt, those that have participated in this violence will face the full force of the law. The police will be making arrests, individuals will be held on remand, charges will follow and convictions will follow. False claims spread after the girl's murder that the suspect was a radical Muslim migrant. Police have said the suspect was born in Britain and are not treating it as a terrorist incident. However, protests have continued across the country, including in Liverpool, Bristol and Manchester on Saturday, resulting in arson, looting and injured police officers. On Sunday, hundreds of anti-immigration protesters gathered by a hotel near Rotherham, which Britain's interior minister said was housing asylum seekers. Protesters threw bricks at police and smashed hotel windows before setting a bin close to the hotel on fire. Police said one officer was knocked unconscious and others had suspected broken bones. The National Police Chiefs Council said nearly 150 people had been arrested since Saturday evening and more would follow in the coming days. The last time violent protests erupted across Britain was in 2011 when thousands of people took to the streets after police shot dead a black man in London. Starmer was the country's chief prosecutor at that time. Community leaders and families of the victims of the murders in Southport, near Liverpool, have criticised the unrest. A group of faith leaders in Liverpool said in a joint statement that, quote, too many people have sought to use the tragedy to create division and hate.